Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 17th, 2021. Well, yesterday, if you remember in the video and in the morning blog, I warned of the possibility of some volatility, and oh my goodness, I had no idea it would be that wild. Yesterday we saw that initial selling that pushed down, started breaking support levels, and then just as if it was planned uh, institutionally, all four indexes started to rally um, right off of those lows in a massive short squeeze whipsaw that saw us setting new records in the diamonds and spy by the end of the day. And there was a huge number of traders um, rushing in by the dip buyers, rushing in at the end of the day that could feel a little bit of pain this morning. I kept repeating over and over in the right way options trading room yesterday. I'm not sure I trust this guys. I don't like what I'm seeing here. And um, my caution um, is keeping me um, a lot happier this morning, um, seeing the markets whipsawing back to the downside in an overnight gap, threatening to take away the biggest part of yesterday's rally all in one fell swoop. So we have a little bit of emotion in the market here this morning. And let's keep in mind that this could either get better could get substantially better. I don't exactly trust what I see right here either um, because it could get much better uh, depending on how that that retail sales number comes out or it could get substantially worse. Now the retail sales number ex, um, coming out before the market open, expectations, the consensus says that it will decline. We had an earnings report this morning from Home Depot that seems to have kind of confirmed that sentiment this morning. They beat on estimates, but guided lower, saying they expect the DIY sales uh, surge that we had they had experienced um, is ebbing and um, pulling back. So we're seeing Home Depot shares considerably lower this morning, even after a strong earnings beat. So it all depends on how that retail sales number comes in, how we actually act here at the open. Everything could change. It could get better or worse before the open this morning. So be a little bit careful and cautious. Let's take a look at what we have going on here. First off, we pushed down, as you can see here, we pushed down in that chart and we tested that gap right there. Held that gap and bounced off of it in just a massive surge as those by the dip buyers came rushing in. Unfortunately, those folks are going to experience some significant pain this morning. Um, if this selling continues after that um, retail sales number. So watch that closely. Now, are we in real danger of failure here? Well, probably not until we, if we were to break below, if this candle goes below here by the close of today, that could be a problem. That could be a major problem. It would probably shake the confidence of the market here a little bit. But let's also keep in mind if that were to occur, it's not the end of the world. Um, as a matter of fact, we have a pretty substantial price support right in that area. So we won't see um, probably any major fear or complete breakdown in the market until we start breaking down these trends and breaking through some of these bigger levels of price support in the chart. However, that being said, it could be very, very painful. Let's take a look. Let's just go to um, the Dow itself and let's measure from yesterday's close just down to the 50-day moving average. If we were to fall to the 50-day moving average, which is certainly a possibility, we're looking at over a 900 point pullback. If we were to fall just into yesterday's low, we're looking at 387 point pullback in yesterday's low. So pretty ugly circumstances if you happen to be buying up a bunch of trades yesterday, um, anticipating, you know, you might be missing out. 
So be a little bit careful and cautious this morning and try not to panic. Um, there would be no reason to panic unless we really reverse and start heading down, breaking some of these support levels. Then there would be some problems. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY also setting new record highs in a huge rally back up. One of the things you do have to consider in this chart is there's not a whole lot of price support in this chart at all until we push down into here. So let's keep in mind that if we were to give up all of yesterday's gains, that's a pretty substantial pullback. And without having too much price support in this chart down to here, that could be kind of a painful swing to the downside if the market does get going that direction and those bears have a reason to engage. Not saying that they will, but that possibility does exist. We should also keep in mind just how far elevated we are away from our major moving averages. And if we were to um, start to become bearish, then there could be some issues there that really could crop up so, um, some painful issues if we were to sink um, back down through. There. So watch that closely. If we take a look at QQQ, now QQQ had a massive response back up yesterday. Notice we broke this low right here we broke this low traveled through there in fact it was a really interesting thing initially yesterday morning we saw buying going on in the nasdaq and the dow selling off and then after the dow sell sold off we saw just um uh, the complete reversal of that where the dow really surged up and then it's um, the nasdaq struggled for a while to move back up interesting dynamic and we were pushing up here trying to break out for new records but just couldn't quite get her done by the end of the day now this morning as you can see we are pulling back we're giving back some of this this morning nasdaq is holding up a lot stronger than the diamonds and spy which is really kind of interesting um in this environment but watch that closely it's possible possible that we could push enough um enough buying into just the seven to nine big tech giants and hold the nasdaq higher um while the rest of the market shows a little bit of pain and suffering here but we'll see again it's all going to be um there'll be a lot of weight on that retail sales number this morning um let's take a look at iwm now iwm um, got involved in the buying yesterday, but it's not really, um, didn't really improve anything. We pushed down, pushed back up um, on the day, but now we're giving that all up and then some this morning in the Russell. The Russell is failing, has failed its 50 day moving average. And I've been suggesting that there's a very good chance that we would visit our 200 day moving average. <laughs> Took a lot longer than I expected, but I think we're headed in that direction here this morning. We'll see if that retail sales number prevents that from occurring, but right now, pretty ugly looking chart as we sell off in the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday, while we were setting new record highs, we did pull back in the VIX and particularly at the end of the day, we closed up that white candle, but notice we still left a window here. Um, in that gap. We gapped up yesterday and we didn't re take that away. So we had Diamonds and Spy setting new records highs, but the VIX not settling back down to those lows yesterday. Now this morning, I suspect we are going to see a gap up, a substantial gap up in that VIX number. As a matter of fact, it could gap above um, its 50 day moving average here. And that's not going to be a problem as long as we continue to see um, those buyers step back up or buy the dip buyers kind of rush back in and buy the dip up. Um, we have this little downtrend here, however, and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. If we were to cross up over this and then hold this area as support. That's where real selling can begin. And I don't think it's going to get major. I don't think we'll have major selling until we cross back above somewhere in this 20 handle. You can see we've been in this price range here for a while with a couple of fear spikes 
here, but this is a pretty substantial level up there around 20. So if we were to slide up there, break above that 20 and hold, then we would have some issues here in the market that could concern us. Let's take a look at our T2122. I mentioned this yesterday to the folks in right way options near the close. We had new record high set in the diamonds and SPY, but look at the T2122. Whoops, that's a two day at the end of the day. The T2122 was going down. That means we had more stocks still going sideways or declining yesterday as we set new record highs in the diamonds and the spy. Um, kind of an interesting situation here in the market. So what what T2122 tells us, it doesn't give us a directional um, idea of where the market's going to go. It just simply tells us that if we find bullish inspiration we have plenty of upside opportunity now and we still have plenty of downside opportunity and i suspect we may test this downside opportunity um, at least uh, the first part of this morning so watch that carefully then let's take a look at our t2101 this is another thing that was just bizarre yesterday with that massive surge back up notice what happened to market breadth market breadth continued to fall yesterday on that surge it just wasn't gaining um, any energy um, overall so T2122 showing more stocks sliding down and declining is a, a and T2101 showing market breadth as very, very weak. Um, kind of an interesting dynamic as we set new record highs. And that's one of the reasons I really didn't trust the yesterday's move and was being a little bit careful and cautious. Now, if you're like me, when you see things like this, you either stand aside or you work on, if, if you have experience at intraday trading, trading that intraday volatility to, to pull some money out. That's where I was yesterday. I didn't pick up any uh, long positions. Um, I actually uh, closed a short position for a profit and then um, did just a little bit of intraday trading to bring in some money. But I tell you, um, I was largely standing aside yesterday. Dangerous market, and that is going to continue possibly this morning, depending on that retail number. Let's take a look at T2107. T2107, we had more stocks declining yesterday, falling below their 200-day moving average as we set new record highs in the Diamonds and Spy. Something is out of sync here, folks, so be really, really careful. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, and our economic calendar has quite a bit on it. We've been talking about it all morning here. Um, we have that retail sales number. Now, retail sales um, last time came in, in, in a, at a 0.6, which it was an improvement. Consensus now suggests a, uh, a negative 0 0.2 um, to 0.3 as a possibility. So if it comes in somewhere around that number, we may be okay. You know, a lot of times if we hit the estimates, markets just kind of shrug and go, okay, that's not so bad. If it comes in stronger than expected, that could be very bullish for the market. If it comes in weaker than expected, obviously that could be very bearish for the market. So keep an eye on this. That's going to happen prior to market open. Anything is possible. We could get a lot better. Um, on our uh, pre-market condition or a lot worse, depending on how that number comes out. Then keep in mind, we have industrial production here. They're looking for a modest increase in industrial production for today. That certainly is a market mover as well. Business inventories, market housing index, and then keep in mind, we've got um, Jerome Powell speaking today. So you always want to pay attention when the big man is out there talking. Uh, pressures are starting to grow on the idea of tapering. Uh, will he talk about that today? Mm, questionable. Um, I would guess no but keep a close eye on that and then remember on wednesday as you're planning ahead we have fomc 
housing starts and permits that's a market mover and then that petroleum status report on wednesday as you're planning forward let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here this morning and our earnings calendar we have um, a, a whoops there that's the blog we have a much lighter day today than we did yesterday but we do have a couple of heavy hitters in here um, earnings numbers are going to start dropping pretty dramatically and even though we have some some market movers like Home Depot and Walmart today and I think tomorrow we have I think we might have Target and I think we've got um, Nvidia and Oracle uh, tomorrow. So we do have a few um, notables that could be market moving, but by and large, we've passed those big numbers of earnings reports that really move the market around. So let's take a look. We have already mentioned Home Depot. They reported better than expected earnings, and we are bouncing back up a little bit off of lows, but Home Depot came in and said they expect sales numbers to decline um, after their major surge of DIYers. So watch that closely. Good strong report, but uh, bearish open this morning expected at the moment. Uh, WMT reporting today looks like it's declining just a little bit, nothing major there. Um, so those two are our biggest notables for today. And right now they're showing just a little bit of negativity. Now that could be, um, that could be made worse by this the selling that is happening in the pre-market. Currently, Dow futures are down 204 points. They've been down substantially more than that, so they have bounced up just a little bit as we're heading toward that number. And then let's take a look at a couple others. We're going to hear from Cree today. Cree will be reporting. Keep an eye on that. Um, uh, Krispy Kreme. Um, we'll report today. Um, you might want to watch that. We'll hear from um, Lazy Boy today and we're also going to hear from se so if you want the full list of notables guys please make sure you um, click that link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog you can see se these gaming stocks um, trying to show some bullishness on its earnings report here this morning Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully you see, guys, that if, the, if you're new here, these videos are different. These are not about the hype or prediction of the market. They are about looking at the technicals of the chart and trying to help folks planning their day with a little bit more logic and a little bit less emotion. And if you guys find that to be useful, please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons. Leave those comments. I apologize yesterday. I didn't get to answering um, all of those. I got most of them answered, but I didn't quite get all of them taken care of. I apologize. But um, I should be back on that today. So if you please leave those messages um, on there, that helps the algorithm to continue to show these um, the videos to more folks and we continue to grow the channel. So thank you for that. And then once again, just a massive shout out to those folks continuing to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link down there. If you're not members of the Hit and, Hit and One um uh, membership or the right way options membership but still take advantage from these videos then consider um, supporting the channel that way that helps out a lot just click that link below the title of the video for buy me a coffee and I use those funds to help improve um, content of these videos so hopefully um, you find these to be useful. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to be very, very 
um, uh, digi diligent in your own uh, due diligence for your trades and never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. These are only ideas that you might be able to put in a watch list and evaluate. And please, please make sure you understand the risk carefully. I'm going to go quickly here today because there's a lot of things that could change around. But let's take a look at Kroger. Kroger, beautiful upside move here in Kroger, looking very, very strong. And I did see news that uh, Warren Buffett increased his shareholding in Kroger. Kroger looking strong here today and even trying to move up this morning. So beautiful upside move. I mentioned this one yesterday. It did follow through to the upside, looking very, very good. Now, one of the things I want to point out here is I want to mention um, consumer defensive stocks. Consumer defensive stocks are where people go to when the market seems unstable. They're uncertain. They're looking for those old, stodgy, boring, dividend paying companies. Kroger is one of those companies, so keep a close eye on that. On that, um, Walmart would be another one of those companies, and notice that Walmart has been holding up very well, um, holding up in this bullish pattern in the chart. Now, this earnings report could certainly cause some problems, and we could uh, falter here. We could also just consolidate this out toward trend and then continue going to the upside. So again, consumer defensive. Take a look at stocks like um, Hershey. Hershey made a nice move yesterday, breaking a through a major consolidation area, pushing on up. Again, boring, boring dividend paying stock starting to move to the upside, looking pretty good. You might wanna take a look at like um, MDLZ. Mondelez. Mondelez is trying to work itself back up. We still have significant resistance in this chart, but notice this little downtrend break, and we did break above this little support level right here. So if this can hold in here, that possibility that Mondelez could start to move on up and move through on that trend to the upside. Again, consumer defensive. Take a look at a lot of those stocks. There are a lot of those moving pretty well. Another place you might want to look is in the housing area. Take a look at stocks like um, KBH. KBH holding up nicely yesterday. Nice little upside trend holding on to price support. This downtrend has been defeated and we're starting to that upside move. So watch that in there. There's that possibility that could move up. Now keep in mind if once you're when you're thinking about these, we have those housing start numbers tomorrow could greatly affect stocks like this. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. You might also want to take a look at Fastenal. Fastenal in that same um, kind of sector, providing the fasteners for all of those ho um, homes being built. Keep a close eye on that. Fastenal looking pretty good. Now, guys, if you're looking for some short trades, if you're looking for some ways to hedge yourself um, in case a possible pullback, I mentioned this one yesterday, RWM. Now, I hold this position, so I have a little bit of a bias on this. As a matter of fact, I have added to this position seeing the condition of the IWM. This is inverse to the Russell 2000 without the two or three times leverage. So I can hold this for a while as I'm waiting for that market to move. And as you can see, we are surging up here this morning. This is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout where we hold that 50 day moving average and then we work our way up toward that 200 day moving average in the chart. So looking pretty good on this chart, at least for the moment. So keep a close eye on RWM. And another one would be DRIP. I mentioned this one as well yesterday. Now DRIP is a inverse on the oil uh, production um, um, ETF and this is a two times leverage. So keep an eye on that. This is not meant for a long term hold. It's meant as a trader and you might want to keep an eye on that. That's showing some nice bullishness here as those oil sector stocks uh, pull back. Now we do have um, a oil number tomorrow so you'll want to keep an eye on that but watch this closely it's looking pretty good. So there's a few stocks for you to take a look at this morning something to watch. 
be really, really careful this morning. Anything is possible. We could see um, after this gap down morning, we could see tremendous whipsaws. Um, anything is possible. So stay on your toes, be very, very careful. And if this kind of volatility is not for you, there's no shame in standing aside and protecting your capital until the market calms down. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Have an awesome one, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.